Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Tuesday the 30th of March 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and let's get straight into your reading. Okay, oh your card have literally, okay two cards have just turned over in a very strange way. So let's go with it. We have change. So a change is coming. And we have freedom, the free spirit energies. Okay. Some kind of liberating change coming your way. I love the wild horses energy. Okay, what do we have, please, angel spirits guides? Mon sorry, it's Tuesday, the 30th of March 2021 for all signs. Thank you. I've got two cards there. We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Six of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Two of Wands and the Seven of Swords, the Moon. I'm feeling in this energy, yeah. There's an energy here that I'm getting, which is detaching from troubles. Now that could be in the home, the family, it could be in a relationship. However, this resonates for you. This, this six of swords is about detaching from something, detaching from choppy waters, moving towards the calmer waters. There's better times ahead. Now, something could happen here to allow you to detach from this it could be by your actions it could be some news or information coming your way because it feels like something is coming <laughs> you know the three of wands which is all about expansion things opening up the beginnings of six the first signs of success coming your way but it's not quite there yet it's not quite in the harbor so it feels in this situation something's happening here whatever resonates with you, where you're actually managing to put troubles behind you and move towards better times ahead, calmer waters, rebalancing your life, rebalancing an area of your life, calling what you will, uh, bringing that harmony and equilibrium back into your life. However, but it feels in this situation, something's going to happen, something's going to come your way. It could be some news, information, a piece of data, um, a conversation here. But it's definitely going to allow you to put difficulty behind you. This is the free spirit energy. Um, the six of swords, because there's liberation from troubles. Now, that could be you together. It could be, you know, um, you putting a relationship behind you. But it feels like something is coming your way to make that happen. To, to, to put the worst of it behind you. Certainly the, the worst will soon be behind you. You're liberating from it and there is change coming your way. Interesting energy. And there is definitely this feeling of healing, nurturing, material stability. So whatever resonates for you, I mean, the Six of Swords can also be about healing. So there's definitely healing with the Queen of Pentacles as well. It feels in this situation there's almost kind of like an anticipation of it coming. You can see it. There could be some choices or decisions that you need to make along the journey as well. Maybe if there is something to do with an offer or an opportunity. But it feels in this situation. I mean, yes, that Queen of Pentacles can be to do with um, working parents, providing financially for her, her, her family, you know, a home, a practical things that she wants around her, you know, she's surrounded by abundance. 
So she likes to see the physical reality of success around her as a sign of her own achievement. And there's definitely an energy of you've got all the resources that you need now to bring some level of growth and abundance your way. But equally, it can be to do with nurturing healing and maybe making some choices and decisions here. But nevertheless, abundant energy. Now, you might have been going for some kind of opportunity. And this is why I'm saying something is coming your way. You can almost like anticipate it. Now, for some of you, you might be meeting a queen of pentacles. It could be in terms of business, career, property. I mean, you know, call it what you will, whatever resonates for you. She is somebody who offers you something male or female energy because I'm seeing this page of pentacles as well and next to each other I just I'm just getting this sense that these two are related they both hold this pentacle energy and it feels in this this situation I'm getting this energy of there's lack of clarity the moon lack of clarity Yes, it's a card of trusting your intuition, but inevitably part of the card is in shadow, part of the card is lit by the moon, which reflects the sun. There's definitely an energy if you can't really see how something's going to unfold here. And it might well be to do with something that you have strategically been working towards. Um, you might have kept seeing things to yourself here. The page represents messages. Um... It feels like for some of you, you have been going for something. You've taken steps to go for some kind of opportunity. And it could be in terms of business, career, finances. Um, because, you know, this page can be the financial, the career opportunity or a message to do with uh, an opportunity, a message to do with an interview, a message to do with a business meeting. I mean, you know, uh, it, it, you know, a, a message to do with, you know, a, a bank meeting or an investor meeting. I mean, call it what you will. But it definitely feels in this energy that you've been putting, you've been going for something underneath the radar. It's been hidden. Because it feels in this situation, if you're in a current job, for example, um, or you have a current business partnership. I mean, whatever resonates for you, you might have been tactically interested in going for another opportunity, but you don't really want to let the current organization know or be aware of it because it could put your own finances in jeopardy. So in order to move forward, there's definitely an energy of acting strategically. It feels in this situation, there's been some keeping things to yourself, under the radar, acting strategically. But if I'm definitely getting this energy if you don't have clarity of how something's going to pan out. It feels like you're waiting. I'm going to pull. Just looking for the cards then. Let's pull a card. What does this moon represent, please? What does this moon represent, please? The message is your ships are coming in. Um, soon you'll put, you'll put the worst of a, what has been a challenging situation, maybe not just for you, but for your family, your home. Now, yes, this can also be putting a relationship behind you and taking steps to provide financially for yourself. Yeah, waiting. This is what I'm saying, waiting. Waiting for something to play out. Uh, <laughs> I've got that with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of good things come to those that await, so keep going. There's definitely an energy of something needs to play out here. I feel you've taken steps towards dealing with what this Queen of Pentacles represents, getting back on your feet, nurturing, putting your resources to good use, and maybe meeting somebody in, it feels to do with business, career, finances. But there's a message here, the opportunity that you've taken step toward, and it feels like covertly, you're not hearing anything back. And... The message here is, keep going. Things haven't quite played out. Your ships are coming in. Soon you will detach from troubled waters to calmer waters. There are better times ahead. Um, 
but there's definitely an energy of things need to play out you haven't quite aligned to where you need to be right now because the, it feels like the ducks aren't in a row you know it feels like everything just isn't lined up and that's the message with the moon it, it is a card of hidden blessings you know you are being watched over when the moon appears but this, it's a card of you you just don't have clarity because it's just not time and the message is it's coming uh, soon you will put the worst behind you and again this ten of cups is the rainbow of blessings the happy ever after it, it feels in this situation for some of you there may have been some financial changes because this can be being tested can be being tested in terms of um money career can be being tested and taking stock in terms of relationships for some of you but it feels to do with money and career more and it feels in this situation things just haven't lined up but the opportunity is coming and that's what i'm kind of saying you, you know this freedom energy is you will free yourself from the situation that you feel stuck in we have many hanged men the hanged man can be caused by a number of areas you know it can be caused by ill health uh, and also ill health can make us feel in limbo but it can also affect our money and career uh, we can obviously relationship changes can cause periods of limbo um, and similarly changes in terms of money and career can also make us feel in periods of limbo where we're just not breaking free or breaking through but the message is it's coming things just need to be lined up and I like the fact that the change, we have the road opening here, you know, the change is coming. You will liberate yourself from that situation. But it's almost like something just needs to line up now. So that is the message for today. I'm going to pull a final card. Yeah. We've got magical blessings and remember the magician energy is all about manifestation so I see this very much in terms of what you're trying to manifest. You're definitely being given hidden blessings here even though you don't see the big picture the universe does and I always say this. Um, you're being aligned it's just there is a bit more just persevere and you're going to get there and that, that's what the message is. We have Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Lovely energy. So you are being blessed throughout this journey. And it feels for some of you that it is coming. There is somebody's... The, something is going to happen here. News, information, um, the opportunity appearing, the feedback coming your way. It feels like... It feels like you cannot, it feels like it's almost kind of like you can almost anticipate it. You can almost reach out and touch it. It feels like this new opportunity it just hasn't quite manifested yet and there is some level of perseverance needed. But it definitely is an energy if you are being blessed, you are soon going to detach from troubled waters. Just wait. Your ships are coming in but they're not quite there yet. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.